the August 2nd start of initial operational capability for the F-35A Lightning II fighter with the U.S. Air Force is the latest key milestone for the program. In July, Lockheed Martin's fifth-generation stealth combat aircraft made a long-anticipated first appearance in the U.K. for the Riyadh and Farnborough Air Shows, where AIN defense editor Chris Pocock explained the significance of the F-35 to AIN-TV. There are two things that make the F-35 special, and one is that it's a low observable aeroplane, a stealth aeroplane that theoretically can enter what they call denied airspace, protected by either fighter aeroplanes or surface-to-air missiles, and survive, do its mission and leave. And the second thing is sensor fusion, something not so apparent, but this is a fifth generation aeroplane which has been developed in the last 10 years. And so therefore the presentation of mission information to the pilot is fused in a way that was not possible with the state of the art in fourth generation aeroplanes previously. The aircraft on display in Farnborough was a B model developed for short takeoff and vertical landing use. Lockheed Martin also makes an A model for conventional operations and also a C model for deployment on aircraft carriers. And the unique thing about the B is that it's a supersonic uh, short takeoff vertical landing aeroplane. The British like to talk about the Harrier as the inventors of VTOL fighters, but the Harrier, great aeroplane though it was, was not supersonic. And the B is capable of deployment on, for instance, the Marine Corps' amphibious ships and also into uh, short airstrips. And indeed, they also have a deployable aluminum matting that they lay down so that it can do vertical landings. The air forces that are customers for the uh, F-35 are making a uh, an attempt to integrate it with their fourth generation aeroplanes um, so that they work together. In the UK case, for instance, the British Royal Air Force has a fleet of Typhoons, which are primarily a very good air superiority air defense machine. The F-35, its strength is its capability to enter denied airspace as a strike aeroplane. So that's a synergistic combination that the Royal Air Force is trying to exploit, and other air forces will be doing the same. The F-35 is one of two fifth-generation fighters, stealth fighters in the US Air Force inventory. It was preceded by the F-22, the Raptor, also made by Lockheed Martin, a bigger aeroplane, a stealthier aeroplane, an aeroplane specifically designed for air superiority and air combat missions. Both the Russians and the Chinese have flown what they claim to be stealth designs. They look stealthy, their shaping is stealthy. The extent to which they are indeed stealthy, of course, is unknown, at least outside of classified intelligence circles. The next big step in December 2016 should see Israel take delivery of its first F-35. In addition to the UK, three other international partner nations have already received their first aircraft. The Netherlands, Australia, and Italy. These are still undergoing trial operations in the US.